Hey guys, it's Dabs here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial. And I want to show you two super easy methods for you to add an HTML page to your WordPress website. For many reasons, you can have a static web page that you want to add to your WordPress website. I really don't want to start mentioning several instances. For the purpose of this example, I want to assume that we have a PLR course we want to add to our WordPress website. So I'll show you two super simple, easy ways for you to implement that real, real quick. So without further ado, let's get started into these tutorials immediately. So right on my screen here is the WordPress website that I want to be using just for example purpose. I have a demo template here. So I want to add an HTML page to this website. The first method I'm going to show you is the conventional method that we involve that we upload that HTML template into our files, into our WordPress files. So let's come to the back end of this website. Let's come to WordPress. So we need a plugin to do that. Our plugin is called WP File Manager. So you can come to plugins and you can come to add new. You can just type WP file manager. So I have this plugin here installed and activated. If you do, you will have this plugin right here by your far left corner. And if you come down here, you can come to your WP file manager. So this plugin will give us access to our WordPress files without necessarily needing to go to our hosting account. It makes things super simple and super easy. I have a full tutorial on how to make use of this WP file manager. I can leave that tutorial in the video description. You can check it out in case you want to learn everything that is to it about this plugin. This is the upload files icon. So if you over around it, it will tell you what it is. The same thing for every of these other icons here. So I will click this right now and then I can just drag and drop a file here. I can just select my files directly. For the purpose of this example here, yeah, so I have a course here, a sales skill share. Uh, so this is the sales page. This is the download page for this course. So if I come down here, so you can see uh, it's a course. It has all the modules, learning, graphics design. And this is usual if you buy a PLR, right? So now let's come back to our sales and thank you page. So this is it here. We can literally just open our sales page to see exactly what it looks like. So we can open our index. So this is it. So we have sell your knowledge on Skillshare, brand new over the shoulder video tutorial. So you can see it's a fantastic basic landing page. This is an HTML landing page for this course. So this is what we want to add to our WordPress. So right now we can now drag our zip file into our WordPress files. Uh, but I think I should just drag the folder entirely. Uh, let's just drag that. That can take some time, but it's okay. So sometimes you might not just be lucky trying to unzip using this. I really don't know why. Maybe if the files are very heavy. So if it is very heavy, you may just want to upload your folder directly. So as you can see here, I have this uploaded directly. Uh, this is super fast. So what I can do really is to rename this. I can just rename this. Uh, let's just say uh, course. So this is just uh, for example, uh, so that you know exactly what that is. And that URL is the same URL you would call on your live website. Okay, fantastic. So we have this renamed as course. So now let's open this up. So we can see here that we have our uh, folders here. So we can open this to be sure that this is well imported. So you can see we have our sales videos here too as well. So now we can come to our live website. So what we can do now to see that page is for us to come here and do slash course. And then let's load this up. So you can see we now have this page loading on our website. Isn't this amazing? So what we can do right now to add this to our menu would be for us to copy this URL. And then I can come back. And then I can just come to my dashboard. I can come to appearance and then I can come to menu. Okay, so here this is our footer menu. So we want to make sure that we switch to our primary menu just in case you have 
several menus you want to be sure you are in your primary menu so you can say this is the homework counter this is our primary menu now so i can come to my custom links i can add my course link and then i can just put text as course and then i can add this to menu that's it so i can save my menu now and then i can visit our page but that's it so we now have course here so from your website right now you can just go to course and that's it so this is bringing people here but unfortunately you can see that this has taken people directly away from your website there is no menu anymore or anything on the website so for us to be able to solve that so i want to use another method which is the second method i want to show you and that would literally work like a magic like a flash so right now this is the course page here uh, so i would be using a tool to clone these right now so that we can upload this directly into our page so i'll use a tool called clone webex so we use this tool to literally just clone this page into our website so let's experiment with that let's see how that would work so here's the tool called clone webex it will literally help you clone your website to your page builder with a simple click uh, webflow elementor bricks and all that page builder is coming like gutenberg and breakdance so it's a paid tool but you can start for free so you can see that you can do three export per month only a desktop that means that might not be responsive so you may want to invest in their paid plan if you want to get the best out of this tool so right now you would need to install i have done several tutorials around clone webex so i really don't want to waste so much time on that so you can check my channel to see how this works you would also have access to the uh, chrome extension so let's just come back to our sales page so this is the chrome extension here i'll click this and it will ask me to select a project so i have dabs book here as a project that i have before so i can just literally just add this page bingo so we now have that page literally cloned here and this is super cool right super 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 cool so um for us to be able to install this into elementor we have to uh we are required to install their plugin so if you click this here from this toolbar here you'll be able to download the plugin into your browser like i just did you want to make sure that you have elementor 3.10 or ir installed plus flexbox plus flex container turned on that will be turned on by default if you are using the recent elemental page builder so that's it uh, so now let's come back to our website right now let's come to plugins let's come to add new since we are required to install that plugin so let's upload that plugin let's activate this and then let's come to page let's come to add a new page so i can literally call this uh, let me just see my course and then i can publish this and then i can edit this with elementor i'll come back to my project here so so here right now at this tool we can if you over around the page we can see that this page is selecting different angles and different elements on the page so now if i click this right now so i can select or i can even toggle this to see exactly what i've copied so you can see that is gone so that's exactly what i've copied i can click this right now and then if i come to my toolbar here you can see that i have these elements selected here and then i can choose my page builder i want to do this with elementor which is good and do this with webflow or even with bricks others are coming uh, which is fine uh we already have our plugin installed which is okay and then we can just hit the export button and this has been copied to clipboard so i can come back to my page right now i can right click this and paste from other side and i can press ctrl v so literally we have this page cloned here uh, unfortunately this video here did not pop 
we might just need to copy that video and paste that back so if we click this right now this tool literally rely on html for everything literally so it's trying to use html to load the video but that's not loading so you can just come to a, your elemental here and do your video directly you can drag that in here so you can see you have your video now here so i can delete this html that's not useful so you have the video files on your computer you can upload it to your wordpress or upload it to youtube and then you can paste the url here or you can just directly paste it to your to your wordpress media and then come to self-hosted and then put the video url from your wordpress here this is super simple to do but for the purpose of this example i will leave this as a youtube video so you can just continue the clone like, like that i can come down here and then i can clone this element too as well i can click this and then i can just export this just copy to clipboard so i can come back to my sales page here uh not here my page here i can right click as well paste from other side to control v literally very simple isn't this amazing so you can see uh, so this is how you do this for every of the elements here and you have this not just as an html page but you have this working inside elementor as a page on your website i don't want to waste time to keep cloning every of the elements you can copy every of the page at once but most times i find it very easy to just copy them element by element and edit them uh, so that you don't more do things up in case you need to correct some things and some just something like that basically so uh, once this is done you can just go back update the page and then i can view my page in a new tab so this is it this is my course so now i can then go back and add this page to my menu and so i can take this off so right now Anybody viewing this now would be able to see my menu here. Unlike if they come directly to this course page here, while they are just taking away directly away from the website. So you can see here, we didn't even clone the header here. So let's come back here. I think I missed this. I missed this part here. So these two can be cloned. So if I click this, I can just select this. And then I have this element here. And another thing you can still do is if you come here, you can just hit the parent selector. This will copy the entire page. Uh, so that's the beauty and you can just copy everything once and for all but like i told you i just love to do this element by element it's all fun doing it that way uh, so that's it uh for you to add your html page into wordpress so that's it if you find this video useful give me a thumbs up if you have any issues you can let me know i will leave a link to clone webex in the video description you can also check my cloning playlist i've got lots and lots of tutorials around cloning website landing pages wordpress to elementor uh, a lot and a lot of them you'll find them quite very useful that's my time i'll see you in another tutorial until then stay safe bye for now